Have you ever wondered how different diffusers compare to one another? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're brand new here, hi, my name's Courtney and I love playing around with the curly girl method and embracing my wavy curly hair. And part of that whole process for me has been learning how to diffuse my hair. And oh my goodness, that was a process in and of itself. And after much trial and error. I actually mapped out a routine that works really well for me. If you haven't seen it, please feel free to check out my diffusing video. I haven't changed up that routine. I still diffuse like upside down first and then go from there. <laughs> so if you wanna see the actual routine, that is where that is. But if you're curious to see how the Extava Black Orchid Diffuser compares to the Seg Beauty Diffuser, that is what we're covering today. If you're interested in learning more about the Curly Girl Method and how I apply it to my low porosity, fine wavy hair, please go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. I would love to have you guys stick around for some more videos. And if this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It does help me out and it lets me know that the video was actually helpful. So there's that. And I would love to make this video super short and quick. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you watched my diffusing video, you know that I have been using this diffuser for a very long time. This is the Extava Black Orchid Diffuser and it is the first diffuser that I purchased when I started doing the Curly Girl Method. Wait, actually, that's not true. The first one I purchased was like a universal one from Conair, from Sally Beauty and I, I really didn't like that one. <laughs> so then I, I got this one. This is the one that I have the most experience with and it is a cult favorite in the wavy curly community, especially amongst ladies that have longer hair. And the reason for that is, is that this diffuser is huge. <laughs> you can scoop up so much of your hair in one go with this diffuser. It's got lots of holes so that there is lots of airflow. It actually has these prongs, which let me see if I can show you. Each individual prong has a hole in it, which means that when you go to diffuse your hair, it's drying your roots and the bulk of your hair at the same time. So if you like scoop up a bunch of hair, you're drying your roots and the lengths of your hair all in one. It works really, really well. I will say that you maybe shouldn't like lean on this with all your might. These are a little sharp and pokey and rigid, but other than that, this is an incredible, incredible diffuser. The, there are only two criticisms I have for this diffuser, and that is, is that it is very hard to get it to attach to certain blow dryers. Like it's, it's not very flexible. You have to use it with a blow dryer that fits it or, or redneck engineer it. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't work for you. The other criticism I have is that when you put it on your roots, there are these big gaps where there is a lot of loss of airflow. So it kind of can blow your hair around if your hair is a little bit shorter and potentially cre create some frizz. There's just some loss of airflow there. But overall, this is a great diffuser. It's got a very deep bowl, these very long prongs. So there you go. And if you watched my diffusing video, you know that my darling sweet husband got me a Dyson hair dryer for my birthday last year. And the diffuser that came with the Dyson, it just wasn't gonna cut it for me. It has this very shallow, shallow bowl. It does have prongs that have holes in them so that you can dry your roots as well as the bulk of your hair at the same time. But it's so little <laughs> that every time I used it to do my hair, my curls and waves would get kind of crushed 
and get wonky and, and misshapen. And I could never get this to work for me other than when I would use it to hover diffuse, meaning that I didn't actually scoop my hair up in it. I would just kind of like hold it over my hair and let it hover and dry my hair. It worked just fine for that. But I was sorely missing my Extava Black Orchid. So what I wound up doing is buying some really strong magnets off of Amazon and super gluing them onto the back of the Black Orchid diffuser. And that worked great. I was able to use my Extava with my Dyson for a very long time, but the only hitch with that is that the super glue didn't hold up very well. It kept breaking and I kept having to re-super glue magnets onto the diffuser. And it got to the point where I was having to do it every time I diffused my hair. And after the 244th time I had re-super glued the magnets onto the back of that Extava Black Orchid, I said, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I've got to figure something else out. And on a whim, I decided to try the SEG Beauty Diffuser. I had seen my friend over on Instagram, Marianne, Good Gravy, It's Wavy, raving about this diffuser. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. It has the same sized bowl as the Extava Black Orchid. They are the same size. Let me see, there you go. They are the same size, which is one of the big draws of the Extava Black Orchid is that it's big and you can scoop up a lot of hair. This also has prongs that will dry your roots. And another really cool thing about this one is that the bowl is even deeper than the bowl in the Extava Black Orchid. And you can change the amount of airflow if you want. If you're noticing that your curls are getting blown around too much and it's creating frizz, you can decrease the amount of air. If you want to increase the amount of airflow to theoretically shorten drying time, you can do that as well, which I really loved about this. And for me, the big bonus was I could take one of the concentrator nozzles from the Dyson and put it into the back of this diffuser, I didn't have to super glue magnets anymore. Now, I didn't get the Pro Dyson hairdryer, so the magnets here are weaker and it is definitely heavy and it does kind of fall off of the Dyson. It's not a perfect solution, but it was so much nicer than trying to super glue magnets onto a diffuser every time I wanted to diffuse my hair. The only other difference that I found that was pretty significant is that the Extava has this big knob in the middle. And I would notice that my curls would actually curl around it, which in some cases was good if I nailed the placement of the diffuser when I was putting it into my hair. But other times it would actually kind of make my curls a little wonky sometimes. Sometimes it worked in my favor and sometimes it didn't. I did notice that the Sag Beauty diffuser allowed my curls to spiral up in their natural shape, in their natural curl pattern, without forcing them to accidentally go around that center knob. The other thing about the Seg Beauty Diffuser that is different than the Dyson is that when you scoop up your hair, there is way less loss of airflow than with the Dyson. There's not those big gaps and holes in the side where the teeth are on this diffuser. Now, if you've been paying very close attention, you will have noticed that I found another solution for attaching this wonderful diffuser to my Dyson. And it's even made it adaptable to other blow dryers. So if you have a blow dryer that doesn't fit this diffuser, there is a solution now for you. This is what this diffuser normally looks like. There is a plastic ring that you can insert or take out. Mine at this point has such a buildup of super glue on it that I, I threw it out, but this is what 
the X double black orchid normally looks like. And I had a company called Snozzle Pro reach out to me and ask me if I would be interested in trying their adapter for diffusers to blow dryers. And I said, well, I, I kind of already have something figured out that works for me. I don't know if I would have a use for it. And they're like, well, we have seen a lot of people use this to attach their Extava Black Orchids to their Dysons. And I was like, you have? Really? How so? And they sent me a picture showing me how that worked. So you get the snozzle and you attach it to the Extava like so. Then if you had a blow dryer that just wouldn't fit this Extava, you could then put your blow dryer in here and you're good to go. For me to get it to attach to my Dyson, I took the other concentrator nozzle that I don't ever use because I don't round brush blow dry my hair anymore. And it is pretty tight and you do kind of have to work it in there, but I actually like that it's so snug because it doesn't come off. Finally, now I can attach my Extava Black Orchid to my Dyson without having to deal with the super glue. This doesn't come off when I put it in my drawer. It stays put, which is wonderful. Again, the magnet isn't strong enough to hold the weight of this diffuser on by itself, so I do kind of have to hold the blow dryer and the diffuser together. But once I've got it placed, my other hand can be free. Just know that this isn't like super secure, but, but it works. All right, so there's that. That is the differences between the Seg Beauty Diffuser and the Extava Black Orchid. To be perfectly honest, I have kept both because I still like both. I, I haven't gotten rid of one because I still like both so much. There was a point in time where I was going to be all about the Seg Beauty Diffuser because I was so tired of trying to get the Extava to fit on my dryer, but now the Snozzle Pro has completely changed my mind <laughs> and made me love the Extava all over again. Both of these diffusers are Courtney approved. I think both are fantastic and will work for a variety of different hair types. Oh, and if you're wondering what my super cute headband is, it is by Busy Bee Crafts. Go check them out over on Instagram. They're they're, they're, this is a good headband. I, I love her headbands. They make me really happy. And I am just rocking a pineapple today because I am gonna go with my kiddo outside and play today. And sometimes life is more important than hair. All right, guys, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!